so my gopro ran into a problem this morning so when i was shooting the videos um, suddenly i got an error and um, so my gopro suddenly ended up having some problem it was shooting fine and um, so when i tried copying the videos to my pc i started getting some error and uh, it was showing me sd card error so you can see sd error at the top and it's not letting me use the gopro and when i try with the pc also i get the same problem so let's um, let me show you what i am getting so i'll just switch it off i will um, get the sd card out and um, put it into my pc so here i take my battery out and here is the SD card which is a brand new SD card which I just bought along with the GoPro so let me get the SD card out and um, let's try to see what I'm getting when I uh, put it uh, with the card reader in my PC so I'm just plugging it in so I've just plugged in um, the device is recognized as you can see over here so you can see over here that F drive is showing over here the new drive that I've just inserted. But when I try to access it, I get you need to format the desk in drive F before you can use it. Do you want to format it? So let's say cancel. And it says that F drive is not accessible. The volume does not contain a recognized file system, so you can understand that the file system is gone. Please make sure that all the required file system are loaded and that the volume is not corrupted. I'm not sure it's corrupted or it's damaged or what has happened to it but uh, I found a good software that can help me recover the files so before you try out anything else here are some of the suggestions by the official GoPro so uh, if you see this SD error so make sure that the SD card is fully inserted into the camera so do check out on this and uh, do check out using some other SD card reader as well please enter the settings menu and select the trash icon and uh, delete so Make sure you format your card before even using it, even the first use. So even when you are using it for the first time, make sure that you are formatting your card before you are using it. And the third thing that I have mentioned over here, if you still see this error after recording a high resolution or frame rate mode, it's uh, likely that your SD card is unable to keep up with your camera's output. For further validation, please try a secondary card from the recommended list of cards. So they have recommended few cards over here. So uh, I think my problem was the third one. So after I recorded, I found this uh, problem. So yeah, it was giving me SD error and this site also recommends the same thing. So card not formatted properly. This could be one reason, but for me, it was uh, uh, formatted properly. Make sure your firmware is updated. For me, I think the firmware is updated, but still I got the problem. There could be a dust interfering with connection as well. So make sure you're using the right tool to clean up your uh, SD card. Uh, I don't do that to be honest. You can get this compressed air or SD card cleaner like this one, but I have never tried out anything as such. And make sure that uh, you have your card formatted and make sure you have the latest firmware. So these are the two important things. And these are the cards that's being recommended by GoPro. I was using one of the recommended card that is Sandisk Extreme as you have seen. So it shouldn't have failed ideally, but uh, it did. So yeah, let's explore the software. Let's see if we can find anything interesting there. So I came across a software called Disk Grill and it is by Clever Files and it is one of the recovery software as you see over here. So it is free. So it is free up to the extent of 500 MB and post that you have to upgrade it to the Pro. And I highly recommend that for such a nice software, don't to go for piracy, don't use a crack or a serial number found on the web. Go ahead, buy the product. The pro version costs you around 4000 rupees and you can get a lifetime upgrade for 6370. It is completely worth it. Do not go for a piracy, go ahead and buy the software. This uh, software is capable of saving you multiple times, not just once. Don't just think that it is only for your GoPro and all. We need memory card in almost all kind of devices these days, right? This is the fourth or the fifth time and every time my memory card has gone for a toss, I have paid about uh, 1000, 1500 rupees to save my data. It's better to have a one-time investment to save the data. So this tool is available both for your Mac and your Windows. So you can save uh, your hard disk data, your USB data, 
or your any kind of data in any storage so it is one of the most reliable software it's a free data recovery up to 500 mb free data protection with the recovery vault uh, free byte level backup and all those these are the things included with your free you can use it for your mac your ssd usb drive sd card digital camera iphone many places you can use this in order to save your data it can save a wide variety of file like the video file with uh, so many formats the audio file mp3 aifc aiff so many formats it supports for images documents archives other file types so here you can get the list of all the supported file types it supports a huge array of files so i have personally used it and i felt it uh, to be pretty nice it does a very uh, thorough scan you can re recover data from your lost partition it can find your deleted data it can do a deep scan and find out a lot for you so i have installed it and i am going to show you how it uh, helps in my case over here so this is a tool over here and uh, it will show you all the drives that's attached to your pc so i have four drives attached to the pc along with the usb stick that i have just plugged it in so here it is 128 gb showing 119 gb some of which it is corrupted maybe let's expand this and uh, let's do a search for lost data and it should be able to show you some data from the memory card so you can see that it has found one picture as of now and it is checking it found a video and the search will go on for a while so you can see that it has found 21 videos nine audios and two documents but if you remember that our pc was unable to recognize it even click on this it says insert our disk to drive f it doesn't even recognize that it's there so now if i go to the videos uh, and uh, it shows that there are some bad blocks so i'm just expanding it it's showing me the file system or the folder structure so there are some videos from 30th as you see over here so these are all the videos from the brava and these are all that is gone after that day shoot so yeah you can try this out for free for up to 500 mb and prior to that if you need you need to buy the license so i have bought the license that's why i'm recommending this to you your copy of this trail is successfully activated as you can see over here so it's very straightforward you just uh, make the payment and you get the code and once you do that you just click on the file that you want to recover and once you stop the scan so let's just stop the scan but you should uh, let the scan happen i'm just uh, showing it for the demo it should able to show you how many bad blocks are there and you need to remove or you need to change this um, drive or not or the memory card so you need to choose uh, where you want to export so i have exported all this and saved my file and i have already posted the video as well so you can see over here that it has the same file structure after it has exported everything to the same folder so you can see the file name it's the same file name that we have from here 78 79 80 until 85 and here also we have the same 78 to 85 so it was able to save all the data and you can see that it has saved almost so many gbs of data there are like seven or eight gbs of data that it saved so easily having so many bad blocks so yeah please go ahead try this out try out the demo version before you make the purchase but yeah i highly recommend this one as well i had buy the genuine software support the software engineers being a professional software engineer I do not support uh, prior piracy so yeah it can save you from a lot of things like accidentally deleted files empty recycle bin crashed hard disk formatted external drive virus infection lost partition raw file system corrupted memory cards so there is a lot that it can help you with so go ahead try out the trial version try saving some file if you need to and then uh, go for the original one try it out if you uh, need to have one there are some other in the market as well like Recuva, Ease US Data Recovery and many others. I found the convenience of using is great with uh, Distrel. It's really really nice. It's not a paid video. I was so impressed that I thought of creating this video and sharing it with you guys. So it has a lot of capabilities and as soon as you register you get a code to activate it. So yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. Go ahead and try it out if you need to.
The disk drill claims to be used by some of the giants like NASA, Samsung, Google, VMware, MongoDB, Nestle, Motorola, Boston University. So yeah, I have personally tried it out. I'm not sure if they're using it or not, but it gave me the result that I was looking for and I'm pretty happy with it. So I highly recommend it. It has been rated 4.7 by 8751 users and I would not hesitate to give a 5 star rating to it. It's really, really awesome. So yeah give it a go if you're willing for the same so yeah that's all from this video bye bye take care and see you soon guys